and Animal Cells by Emily and Stella Rose. These are the differences and similarities of plant and animal cells. Some parts that plant cells have that animal cells don't. This right here, all around, is where the cell wall is. Cell walls are found in plant cells. The purpose of a cell wall is to protect the plant from physical damage and it gives it structure. It contains cell wall channels to connect to other cells. Imagine a plant cell as the brick house in the three little pigs. Because it has the cell wall, it will hold up stronger than an animal cell. Imagine this library was a plant cell. These walls would act as if they were the cell wall. These are the chloroplasts. Chloroplast is found in plant cells. It takes in sunlight as an energy source to make the plant grow. Con it contains red, orange, and green colorings. Basically, this part of the cell helps plants grow and gives plants color all season. Imagine this room was a plant cell. These books would be like the chloroplast because they help the room to grow as the library it is. A few parts that animal cells have that plant cells don't. This right here is the flagellum. The flagellum helps the cell to move through the animal's bloodstream. It's located on the outside of the animal cell. There's nothing in the library that is like the flagellum, but the repeller on the motorboat acts like the flagellum because it helps the boat move on its own. These are the lysosomes. Lysosomes are found in animal cells. Lysosomes are the sacs that help the animal to digest its food. It passes nutrients into the cytosols, which is the liquid in cells. They also protect cells from intruders. If this room were an animal cell, the lysosomes would be like the windows, because they protect the intruders from getting inside. Some parts that plant and animal cells have in common. This is where the vacuoles are in an animal cell. This is where the vacuole is in a plant cell. Vacuoles are in plant cells and animal cells. They store food, proteins, and broken down waste. They also pump water into plants to help grow and support it. Imagine this room was a plant or an animal cell. These bookshelves would act as the vacuoles because it holds books, like the vacuoles would hold food and protein and broken down waste. This is where the cytoskeleton is inside of the plant cell. And this is where the cytoskeleton is inside the animal cell. The cytoskeleton contains small fibers that help the cell to keep its shape and function. It also helps the cell's movement. They are made from protein. Imagine this room was a plant or an animal cell. The material inside the walls would be like the cytoskeleton because they help the walls keep its shape and structure. This is where the mitochondrion is in an animal cell. This is where the mitochondrion is in the plant cell. The mitochondria is the cell's main power source. It can also be called the cell powerhouse. They generate energy from sugar, fats, and other fuels. The purpose is to store and convert energy in order for cells to do work. Cells can contain one to thousands of mitochondria. Imagine this room was a plant or an animal cell. These lights would act as the mitochondria because they are the power source of the room. This is where the nucleus is in an animal cell. This is where the nucleus is in the plant cell. Nucleus is in plant and animal cells. Nucleus carries the DNA which tells the cell what to do. It helps control eating, movement, and reproduction. It acts as the brain of the cell. If this room were a plant or an animal cell, the librarian would be like the nucleus of the room because of the brain of the library. Thanks for